What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, we're actually gonna be looking at some leaks uh, from the previous Alluvium Showcase with Andrew and Grant. And today I have a special guest, uh, someone I'm actually super excited to have on and someone that I'm excited to watch grow as well. Uh, with us today, I have Artemis. What is good, Artemis? Hey, 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 thanks for having me. That's cool, how are you going, man? I Again, we've been talking before the camera, but we always have to do this for the camera, but yeah. What's going on, how are you feeling? <laughs> uh, good. Glad that we can do this in the morning and not like 3 a.m. my time. Yeah, well, I'm I'm the one 1 a.m. my time. So wife, wifey's definitely gonna be <laughs> I'm sleeping on the couch tonight for sure. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. So let's not let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So essentially I've got a couple of like the highlighted leaks, because the leaks uh that they do, yes, there's a lot of them and mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. go on for like a long time. So I just kind of curated a, the few that I thought were really, really important or really fun. Uh, and I just want to get your thoughts on it. We can share our opinions and kind of just have a bit of a goof, really. All right, Adi, do you know what this video is that we're looking at right now? Oh, this has got to be Andrew's T-Rex roar. And I'm pretty sure we got Grant doing Atlas. Yes, uh, we're not going to listen to Grant doing Atlas, but we are going to listen to to Andrew doing T-Rex. Uh, and then I've got a little something after that. So we'll have a, a bit of a listen right now. I'll, I'll do it right now. <laughs> No, don't do it. The T Rex roar. I'll do it right now. No, he gets so into it. Just watch this. He gets so oh. into it. <laughs> All right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. You gotta so love I, how he adjusts the glasses first. I was going to say that. I was actually just going to say that. I love that he gets into it and everything. All right. So, Adi, what I'm going to do now is before we get into any serious discussions, I want to hear your T-Rex roar, and then I'll give my T-Rex roar after. And then we can um, challenge Grant. I think with three Do we of us really want to put people no. through that? Ab yo, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Your first time on my channel has to be done. <laughs> okay, T-Rex. Uh... <laughs> yo, the dog. Oh the dog's barking. Yo, the dog's like, yo, what, what is going on? All right, all right, awesome, awesome. All right, I'll do mine and then we'll move on. I'll do mine. Okay. Yo, yo my wife is gonna <laughs> think hard. I'm mental. It is, it is, it is. All right. <laughs> yo, nah, 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 one more, one more. That was bad. That was bad. That yo, counts. That was bad. All right, one more, one more, one more. <clears throat> yo, that was like a, a broken chicken. I don't know what that I'm was. I'm gonna start right. crying here. Yo, that was, right. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to leave that in the video. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. Better. Better. At least my voice didn't crack. My voice didn't crack. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. All right. <laughs> moving on. We're not going to talk about it. All right. Sick. Let's get into the serious stuff. Let's get into the serious stuff. Um. So, what were your first thoughts? The the match. The match. Oh, I first need that in my this. life. I need yeah, that in my right? life so bad. Are you I like love a hoodie purple. person? Yeah, purple. Sick. I am a sweater person. Like, well, I mean, granted, Sky keeps the house so cold, so it's like <laughs> 98 degrees outside right now, and I'm mm -hmm. in a sweater. Yeah, crazy. Um, sweaters, jackets, I just like being comfy. But, I yeah. mean, I've always liked, like, to me, this, like, Letterman style. Mm -hmm. Um, And then purple. I just, yeah. it just meshes. It's so, it's such a classic look. Yeah. And that's, yeah, man, like, because, like you say, it's been, like, the style's been around for so long, and they can kind of do it. I'll be honest, I'm kind of not into the style 100 i'll be completely honest I'll, i still like it um i prefer just straight up like you say sweaters or just hoodies or even mm -hmm. cardigans um I, I haven't worn a cardigan in a long time but i do like the style um <laughs> but man so it, instead of talking about because this is a well designed there's no kind of like talking about that but i'm curious adi from your perspective like what would you like to see next in the merch line is it just t-shirts is it more apparel is it like what is something that you'd like to see Oh, that's so hard. I would say apparel, <laughs> but I don't want my like I love alluvium, but I don't want my whole closet to be alluvium. Of course, of course. Um, at the same time, I've only got so much shelf space. Yep. Um, but like a little Funko Pop. Yeah. Would be yep. cool. Yeah, I can um, replace these guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a huge sticker fan. I've got oh, a couple okay. spots around the house where I just like put stickers. Mm -hmm. so like that's yeah. always a low lift thing that i like to see yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah i think um yeah i like for you for me as well i think like replacing these little guys with some mm -hmm. alluvials that would be sick otherwise i really want like 
some artwork, like the whole PFP thing, but we already know that's coming up with the Aluvatars. Like, again, I currently have like a koala up here. You can't even see it, to be honest, but mm -hmm. like, it'd be cool to have a couple of things just behind me. I reckon that'd be sick. I'm so um, excited that they're doing those metal plates. I've actually mm. got two disc plates um, in my office here. I've got one for Pokemon and I've got one for Sailor Moon. So it would be great <laughs> to add an Alluvium one. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. All right, sick. So this, this is the UI, right? What, mm -hmm. are, your, what are you thinking? Because we've seen like the UI kind of improved so much. And I know obviously, I, yeah, I'll say it. I was going to kind of censor myself a bit, but... Kieran kind of went at Wagner for um, focusing on the UI first more than anything. Um, and we obviously went the opposite direction with UI. It looks like we're kind of finalizing the UI l much later in right now. Um, but what do you think about this? Like, is there, is this kind of what you expected the whole time or? Yeah, no, I mean, for me, this is pretty in line with other things that we've seen. I think what I really like is over on the left there. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it's highlighting which resources you have versus what you still need yep. um, is super useful. Um, yep. The only thing that makes me question is if you need like multiples of a type. So let's say you're missing one, but you need only one. Do you need two? Um, yep. I'm playing another kind of resource management game right now. And as far as like what you need, they do a really good job there in the UI. And then just in terms of like compared to other games... Uh, all the stats on it being right there. A little overwhelming for me personally, because I usually yeah. don't play games with that many stats, but yeah. I think it's laid yeah. out really well. So Yeah, I think, yeah, I think like it can be overwhelming. I think what's going to help a lot of people is kind of understanding, all right, if you have a certain kind of weapon, like just understanding like the top three stats that you care about and mm -hmm. seeing where they are, right? So if you have like a shield, like if that gives you like crazy attack speed, and crazy physical resistance, you'd be like, oh, that's an interesting shield. Um, the fact that it gives you like attack speed or like a, sh a shield with attack range, you'd be like, yo, what kind of shield is this? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. um, like a force field. Yeah, so, something like that. So I think you'd look for like the top three or four and be like, oh man, it's, this is the type of thing that it's doing. Um, but I, yeah, I love the the design of it, man. Like the the curves, mm -hmm. there's no real like sharp edges type of thing. Like the it kind of, it's super futuristic. And I think that's like, obviously, even down here, like the little curves, it kind of just is super futuristic. So I'm I'm keen to see what else they do with it all. Um, I love the fact that they've got the, the filters here. It seems like, again, I think it might possibly be slightly overwhelming, but I think once you get a, like used to it, having all of these features, like the, the filters are, is going to be helpful, especially if there's like... If you've got a whole bunch of stuff and you're trying to organize it, it's like, yo, Dan, can you imagine reading through like 10 or 15? Uh, you can kind of just click on the stuff that you want. So that's sick. Yeah, I mean, eventually, the longer you play it, the more your eyes will be drawn to what you want to be seeing. Yeah, and that's true exactly. with any. Exactly, exactly. Yo, so this one, this is, yeah, this like holds a special special spot in your heart, right? Talk to us, talk to us. Yeah, no, uh, so obviously don't know if the names are right, but we had seen nah. the, I think it's Sanahi on the stage two of this. This has got to yeah. be the stage three. Yeah. Um, utter. I mean, little foxes. They're cute. They're they're the cuties, and I love that they have done the artwork here. It's like you're cute and you're badass. That's so. the thing that yeah. That's the thing that I love with like all the alluvials and like I've I've put up a tweet on like a Pokemon thing uh, today. They had like, oh, are you excited to catch this new Pokemon? And a little trash. Um. So I was oh, like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah and it's like, wow. yeah, yeah, I might put that up in the screen so everyone can see that. But uh, it's like, yeah, I'll put up, yo, I'm, are you excited to catch uh, Axodon? And it's like, just the stuff that they do with the alluvials, it's cool because it's like, it's cute. Like even Axonar, I still think has like a cute kind of factor to it, but mm -hmm. it looks so monstrous. Like it looks like it's made for adults. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. like even this, it's like, oh yeah, it looks cute. It, it's, it's beautiful. It's very like appealing. But then you look at the teeth, you look at the eyes, the pointed kind of ears, and it's like, oh man, it's dangerous. It's like aggressive. Um, and I think they've found that balance with a lot of things like Squiz, even like Squiz is super cute, but you look at him, like, especially when he has that like electric shock thing, it's like, oh man, he's about to do something. I think the only like pure, pure cute one is, uh, oh man, I keep calling him Snaily now because of Brand, but the um, stage one Sna Tatapi, yeah, that's the only one that actually doesn't look harmful at all. That one just <laughs> looks super chill um especially with that yeah. that gift that they put out the uh 
Yeah, yeah. I was gonna add that. I was gonna add that in there, but yeah, there's so much more. There's so much more to cover. But yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. But um, you know, yeah. one thing I think you got to keep in perspective is we're seeing Illuvium's first generation, and mm. if you go back and you look at Pokemon's first generation, like I was with them through probably Gen three, and then yeah. I forget which one it came in. But when you get into the ice cream cones and the garbage cans, <laughs> then it's like, no, nah, I'm I'm out of here. So yeah. really, what we're going to have to wait and see is not, I mean, obviously gen one is great. We all love it. We love everything we're seeing. What's gen three going to look like? What's gen four? If they can keep up with it without getting, you know, doing what Pokemon got where it feels like they got lazy and ran out of ideas. Yep. So you're pretty much asking how many generations until we see a garbage, garbage can alluvial. That's kind of what you're asking. And that's the other thing. I'm like, these companies feel like they have to keep making more generations. Mm. There can be a point where you stop. And yeah. you say that this is all there is in the world. Yeah. And also, I think what Kieran's actually said before, and I think this is a really, really good idea, is essentially like once they get to a point where they're feeling like, like yo, they can't do anything anymore or like it's limited, mm-hmm. they might bring back like a ram fire, but a snow version. So that way it's like, oh, they're still reusing it and they're adjusting it. And that way, if you still have a ram fire, it's like, oh, you have a, a generation one because it's the fire ram fire. And then yeah. later on, you might have like an earth ramp fire. I don't know how that would work, but you understand the concept there. So mm-hmm. um, I think something like that. Can you imagine? I'm just realizing a snow ramp fire. The name is ramp fire, but it's a snow. Oh, oh I, I can though. Can you yeah. imagine like uh, like ice shards coming out of the wings? Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I'd so see I more think, as yeah. a frost than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think that that actually makes a good like so that way you're not having to like make a whole complete set of unique alluvials. It's like all right, you can make like 20 unique alluvials and then the rest you can kind of just keep like mm-hmm. customizing what you've already done. And actually, so this is just a fun question. I kind of just thought of it right now. So we know that they've gone with like the endangered and extinct animals um, for or creatures for, for this set. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you have an idea for like another set? Like, is there something that you would like to see? Because I know there is something that I'd like to see. Yeah, we're eventually going to see other animals like whales mm-hmm. and course, yeah. sharks and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, as far as other animals to see. Like, or, uh, other like categories. Like the one what I'll categories? say, I'll, I'll kind of say is like, I, I would really want to see like mythical, mythical creatures. So like a Ooh. centaur or like a phoenix or like a unicorn, something like that, where it's like... Um, like uh, what Bigfoot? I wouldn't. Uh, is that considered mythical? I don't know. Or like an elf, right? Yeah. Something like that, where it's like these mythical kind of mystical creatures uh, with a spin on them. Um, that's the the category I would love to see for like set. I, I think they've already got set two, but I think like mm-hmm. set two or set three. Um, that's the kind of angle I'd love for them to take because there's so many of these guys. Yeah, I mean, um, just dive into any D and D module and look yeah. at all the creatures there like yeah. owl bears and i mean like that idea of taking two animals and making them into one mm. you could even do that later down the road i mean what if you took a titanor and tried to fuse it with a ram fire like yep, i can't yep, yep. really envision it but i'm but, sure somebody creative could yeah 100%. Um, or just like uh, i'm really into fantasy genre brand sanderson's one of my big favorites yep. uh and in one of his books he's got what's called a sion and it's just like a ball of light and you don't want to get too much into inanimate objects for creatures mm. but you can kind of get more um what's the word i'm looking for like a ball of energy i mean you've seen yeah, that yeah, in pokemon yeah. too i believe yeah yeah, yeah. like a ga- ghastly and things like that yeah but yeah yeah yeah. So yeah you can you can do stuff like that all right next one again exciting man there was actually such good leaks this week like a lot um of like really big stuff so a lot of people didn't know that you could change colors um he grant had mentioned it before but it seems like no one listens to grant which is <laughs> but you know why you know why no one uh, listens to grant i figured it out because he yeah. hasn't done the t-rex raw once he does that <laughs> so he, he gains the respect yeah he can do that we're calling you out grant i'm gonna clip this 100%. get on it um but all right so yeah we can change the colors um so what again a simple question what do you think about the ability to change colors and what color would you like to change it to do you have an I mean, idea of what you're like? I think it's it's absolutely brilliant because, I mean, as they've brought up, not everybody likes Silluvium purple. So mm. to be able to change it to something, especially if you're going to be looking at it, you know, if not every day, a couple times a week, you 
don't want it to become an eyesore. I yeah. love purple. I'd mm-hmm. probably do like purple and gold personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I also like that you can change that kind of secondary color. Yeah, yeah. He didn't show that here, but I know you can. You can change the primary and the secondary color. So it's all kind of like still all right. It works. Um, I'll be really yeah. interested to see what the cost for those are. Yeah, because he said you have to grind it out and like figure yeah. it out. So I don't know. If Whether it's, like it's materials need... or energy. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Um, Yeah. Personally, I'm definitely looking for... um purple because purple is also my favorite color um i might do like a more royal purple though like a darker Mm. more royal purple um like a a black panther kind of purple like that (laughs) royal royal like yeah um i think that just looks sick so i'm excited and i think it's gonna be really cool for like streamers obviously both of me and you do stream um like to know that you're watching a streamer and you can see that like automatically by understanding yo this is their color this is their brand I think that's so important for like streaming. And again, I think they really consider content creation when they make, um, when they make and implement these things in the game. It's like understanding that, yo, TSG is going to have this dark purple. Artemis is going to have like the golden purple. Scarx is almost 100% going to have red. Um, And it's like having these kind of like go, uh, Venomore, pink. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, you're going (laughs) to see these guys. And as soon as you see a a stream, you're going to be like, ah, yep, that's the one. That's the one. Um, so I think they're really like smart with helping with the branding and it's just like super, super well thought out. It's crazy how far in advance these guys think. Yeah. All right. So this, the, the fusion deck, right? So Mm -hmm. what we know about the fusion, uh, you're essentially going to be putting three of your things together to to fuse. Uh, we already know that these leaks, I'm kind of just kind of talking about the, the things that we saw and I kind of just want to talk about our opinions, right? So. The question I'm, I'm putting forward to you is Grant put up the question and said he believes that a lot of people are going to take the risk if they have one hollow and fuse it with two non-hollows for a 33% chance. Where do you stand on that? Are you willing to take that risk? Oh, absolutely not. Nah, yeah. No, 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 So no, what no. Are, you, are you trying to get two hollows to get a 66% chance or are you trying to get three hollows and like Honestly, guaranteeing it? Unless it's like a hollow and an alluvial I really love. Um, mm-hmm. I actually don't care that much. I would mm-hmm. probably sell it and hope that what? someone's going to pay top price for it. Yeah. Um, now, if I happen to, because I'm not going to like, I'm going to grind and I'm going to be getting, my goal is one of every type. Yeah. I need my collection. I'm a collector. Yeah. Um, and then if I get extras and I happen to have multiple, um it's going to depend on market price. Like if a yeah. hollow alluvial is going for five ETH and yeah. you know, I'm not losing that to a 33% chance that I yeah. could get a you know, more expensive tier two or something. Yeah. And I think, I think that's exactly it, man. I think honestly, hollows are going to be again, not, none of this financial advice. We're just having a, a conversation. Um, but I think that the hollows are actually going to be super, super like just high value, like potentially, just for that reason that people aren't willing to risk it and they'd rather just pay more to guarantee that they get the hollow um, than risk it with a 33%. So I think understanding that, I feel like there are the hollows are going to go pretty high. I'm thinking to myself, I don't know, man, as a content creator, I feel like I have to just for the sake of like at least one time, just take that 33%. Because imagine like, honestly, imagine the feeling of you've got like a whole bunch of people watching the stream, you take the risk, and it pays off. Man, everyone is going to lose their mind. Like, yo, I'm going to pop off, jump out of my chair. Yo, people are going to see that I'm wearing PJs underneath. Like, <laughs> yo, it's going to get wild if that really happens. I don't think I'll make a habit of it because obviously, like, yeah. I'm not 100% DJ like that. But I think, like, a couple of times, once in a while, I think it, it would be cool. And honestly, like, yeah, like, I, I don't want to sell him. Honestly, like, I really don't want to sell him. Um, not for like a couple of years anyway. Like I really just want to hold on to it. Like there's no, unless it's like life changing money, but I honestly can't see that being the case immediately. Um, I'm really just playing it for fun. And and so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And that's why I say I'm going to like be stupid with the, the, the 33%. I'm sure that will, that will happen. And you're you're going to pull, pull me back to this and be like, yeah, see, you're an idiot. And I'm going to have to admit that publicly. I will remind Um, you the first hollow you get that we will get on stream. And you'll yeah, do yeah, maybe not the first one because I'll probably be attached to that, but <laughs> but maybe after that, maybe after that. 
Um, all right, so this private beta two also like coming out Thank pretty soon. God. Right, talk to me, talk to me, because obviously we've been playing private beta one. There's it's great, like there's no doubt about that, but there are some like painful features in there, <laughs> like the the lack of the lack of checkpoints, the 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 crashes. Mm -hmm. But they're adding a whole bunch. So we've obviously got the checkpoints here. We're gonna have three checkpoints. We're gonna have unlimited waves. Mm -hmm. Um we're gonna have augments. Uh, we're going to have uh, the ability to change our names. We're going to have the ability to see how many people, uh, where we rank compared to how many people in total. Uh, we're going to have the ability to, to add Iluvatars. Like, what do you think about all of these added features? Like, what's, one, what's your overall feeling? And second, what are the features that you're most excited for? Well, I mean, overall feeling, it's just, it's inevitable. Like, I mean, these things had to come. I'm excited mm -hmm. they're coming all at once. So, you know, yeah. it's great to get a huge chunk of it together rather than get, you know, oh, you can do your name, but you can't do checkpoints yet. Yeah. Right now, I can, I don't have a lot of time in the day. So I can maybe do two or three runs unless I'm doing like a dedicated stream. Mm -hmm. uh, but that usually means that if I'm dying, like last night I was streaming and for whatever reason, I'm not that great. I kept dying on five. Um, but if I get to like 10, it's like, oh, I have to grind back up to 10 rather than maybe starting at five and yeah. going on from that. Yeah, 100%. Like, even for me, like, again, obviously I pump out content, like, it, people know that. Um, and it's just like, I don't have time to just play. And like, uh, being honest, as much as I love the game, I only ever play when I am streaming. Like, when I'm streaming on Twitch, that's the only time I play just because, like, I can't commit that time and then i'm like super competitive so if i commit the time then i lose it's very hard <laughs> to me just to say like oh yeah i'm done for the day i'm like yo what happened i, I need to figure this out so it's just like a slippery slope and i think like oh and they're, they're also adding the fact that they're not going to have like the same I, I, this don't quote me on this one this one i'm not 100 percent sure but they're not going to be having the same enemies every single time so it's not about memorization it's about actually playing it and figuring it out every time oh so it's actually going to add a nice. whole yeah right so for streaming and stuff like that um it's gonna add a whole bunch of replayability like for example say i stream on on the twitch channel and then you stream straight after me viewers aren't going to just say oh we're seeing the same thing it's going to be like i right, we're watching tsg do his thing and then we're watching artemis do her thing and it's like a unique experience both times um well and so i know I think, a huge yeah. contention in the community right now is like mm -hmm. there are people who just play straight through and then there are people who screenshot and you know yep. try to get up the leader ranks that way and that's yep. a great way to solve that problem yeah exactly yeah 100 percent. and also like i think from this uh in private beta 2 they're going to take out the whole thing about uh casual being on the, the leaderboard because obviously mm -hmm. that's not how the game should be played and i'm, I'm grateful that we had that just because it incentivizes more people to play casual. And I think that's the better way to learn the game. Um, but I think it's going to be super fun when we actually start getting like com competitive, competitive. And there's no like, like you say, you can't screenshot it. You can't figure it out. Um, but I do wonder how they're going to have um, competitive if it's all random every time. So well, that's it'll be interesting also because um, what well, we have a minute right now to plan. And personally, yeah. once you get to know the game, I think that's plenty of time. Yeah. And I think there was a conversation in the Discord where once you get higher in the waves, you get more time to plan. Yep. And part of me almost wouldn't want that just because, yeah. you know, you shouldn't get more time because it doesn't up to me, it doesn't up the difficulty quite mm. as much if you're on wave 30 and you've got three minutes to plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, you have 10 minutes. Like, oh my God. Um, especially because if this is going unlimited, like, does it ever stop? Do they do they cap the time limit? Um, I agree. I think one minute is fine. It, it forces you to like actually figure it out. Um, and that's part of the fun. That's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So that was actually all of the leaks that, that I kind of curated. Again, usually when we do these, these videos go super long. I curated just a few to try to keep it short. But this video was already much longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys actually sticking around. Um, yo, honestly, for anyone that doesn't or hasn't done this yet, Please, please, please follow Ar uh, Artemis. Um, I keep calling her Adi, but the, her link will be in the uh, description down below. Like, honestly, I'm so excited to watch her do her thing. So uh, just have a look. Um, if you enjoyed her today, which I'm sure I don't see why you wouldn't have, do that. Uh, but yeah, Adi, yo, thank you so much for coming on, man. Again, we've been meaning to do this for a while. I've been busy. 
Um, I apologize. Matt, I'm so grateful that you were able to come on. We were able to have this chat. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these leaked discussions instead of like the whole hour and 20, I'll kind of curate like maybe four or five the, the biggest things. And I'll just have like other people on. So let me know in the comments if you like that kind of thing or what leak you liked. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.